Inflation report just came in today, and that's a big deal for the Fed and their rate decision on whether they're going to lower rates, hold rates into the future. It's most likely going to happen that they're going to hold rates where they're at for another month or two. And people were sort of thinking they might lower rates in May, but the likelihood of that happening now is much less because these rates have gotten worse. <laughs> the inflation isn't coming down as fast as they had expected. This isn't a huge deal, although it is a big deal when it comes down to the core indicators as housing, food, the, the needs that people have just to get by and live each day. So you, you have to have this inflation come down before they can lower rates. And if they don't lower rates, what we're going to see is more unemployment, more problems and more <laughs> suffering in the general public as far as cash flow goes. It's been very clear that there is a general consensus of more more debt being taken on by people, less cash and savings in their accounts, and a lot more of a financial burden on the American people right now. And ultimately, if the feds don't lower rates soon enough, they can cause a massive recession. What that would look like would be a bunch more unemployment, especially in the larger industries and businesses on a, on a small ma and pop basis. It's not so much unemployment, it's businesses failing at that point. And so you, you really have to Take that into consideration when you're Jerome Powell deciding on what you want to do, lower or raise rates. Now, how the market was affected by this, stock market specifically, it actually went up this morning. And some people were surprised by that. Now, there was the super core that had dropped significantly as far as inflation concerns. And so it could have gone up for that purpose. But ultimately, in the end, what the stock market wants is it wants these interest rates to drop. It wants money to be cheaper and uh, not be so expensive because that stimulates the economy. And so in reality, the market might temporarily go up here today, but long term, that shouldn't be the case if the feds aren't going to lower the rates, right? So it's really a temporary thing as far as the market going up. What you can do to better help yourself is save money. Look at everywhere you can save money and have money set aside to take advantage when the market gives you the opportunity. I'm not saying that there's gonna be a huge crash or collapse. I, I don't think so. I think we're gonna get the soft landing that everybody's been talking about. But having money set aside, having money available is never a bad thing and always a good thing. So finding ways to make more money or save more money is a great idea. If you have any questions, comment them down below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Uh, I love this type of stuff and so I like sharing it. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day.